when I came to work on The Leftovers after um, Manhattan ended, I think I was still sort of like, my head was full of all of these ideas about nuclear secrecy and nuclear proliferation. And um, so I was trying to kind of smuggle some of those ideas into the final season of The Leftovers. And I became obsessed with the idea of the Fisher Protocol. And I just wanted to talk about it all the time. You know about the Fisher Protocol? So I first learned about the what what has become known as the Fisher Protocol um, when I heard a Radio Lab episode that Alex Wellerstein did um, called "Buttons Not Buttons." This guy Roger Fisher, who's this sort of academic policy guy, he was troubled by this idea that you know the president could very dispassionately start nuclear war, and so he proposed this idea: What if, as a nuclear deterrent, the nuclear launch key? was uh, concealed in a capsule right next to the heart of a volunteer. In order for the president to be able to blow up millions of people with the push of a button, he has to extract that key by murdering the volunteer himself. And Like it could be the spouse and husband of it, the president. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> you embed the codes in some sort of capsule in the guy's heart. Surgically. And he'd carry around a briefcase with a knife in it. A butcher knife. So that uh, in the event of an imminent nuclear strike, if the president is really prepared to launch nuclear weapons on a civilian population. He has to go to the guy and say, well, now's time. Give me the knife. And then he would have to take the knife and drive it into the guy's chest. The president has to chop out this code from this guy's heart. The president would have to kill someone and pull the code out of their body. Spilling blood all over the carpet of the white of the Oval Office. He has to look at someone and realize what death is, Fisher writes, uh, what an innocent death is. Blood on the White House carpet. It's reality brought home. Of course, this depends on the idea that, that the president has somebody who he cares about enough. Or a carpet that he loves. <laughs> or a car exactly. Not to uh, cut them open. Fisher then says that he suggested this to friends in the Pentagon, and their reply was, my God, that's terrible. Having to kill someone would distort the president's judgment. He might never push the button. That's the whole point. Yes. The strongest objection is it might work. So, yeah, that was sort of an idea that um, that we we didn't we didn't get to do on Manhattan for obvious reasons. But I think at some point everyone was like, OK, fine, <laughs> let's put it in. Uh, so, yeah, it was really fun to, to do that. Um, in, uh, in the final season of The Leftovers.